Welcome to the Trump Breaking News Network, your daily source for up to the minute Trump news. Join us today and every day. Here's today's news. This is TBNN. Trump on new immigration policy announcement. You'll see something next week. By Charles Campbell. President Donald Trump is making plans to circumvent the Ninth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals ruling which put an indefinite suspension on an executive order temporarily halting immigration from seven terror-linked countries. During a joint press conference with Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, the president said his administration will be doing something very rapidly in the name of providing security for the country. You'll see something next week, Trump said. Reports coming from the White House indicate the president is drafting a new executive order. However, Trump has made it clear he will continue to fight Thursday's appeals court ruling and is confident in an eventual victory. We will continue to go through the court process, and I have no doubt that we will win the particular case, Trump said. The Ninth Circuit Court ruled unanimously Thursday in its decision to suspend the executive order. We hold that the government has not shown a likelihood of success on the merits of its appeal, nor has it shown that failure to enter a stay would cause irreparable injury, and we therefore deny its emergency motion for a stay," the court said. Trump responded to the announcement, as expected, via Twitter. Conservative columnist and lawyer Ben Shapiro argued the ruling was an act of judicial tyranny by the Ninth Circuit and could possibly be overturned in the Supreme Court. In an article written Thursday, Shapiro listed the multiple weak points in the judiciary's ruling. Perhaps the craziest element of the ruling, the statement that everyone from lawful permanent residents to aliens with a visa traveling abroad has due process rights. The court even says that illegal aliens have due process rights. The Constitution isn't just for citizens anymore, which begs the question as to why anyone would bother applying for citizenship, Shapiro wrote. Other flaws with the decision according to Shapiro were the court refusing to strike down portions of the executive order and looking for Trump's motive instead of interpreting the actual text of the law. One of the major criticisms of the executive order was that it focused primarily on Muslims. In fact, the media dubbed it a Muslim ban. But, Trump has maintained the move was about keeping terrorists out of out the country. This is not about religion, he said after signing the order. This is about terror and keeping our country safe. There are over 40 different countries worldwide that are majority Muslim that are not affected by this order. What do you think? Scroll down to comment below. That's the news. Join us here every day. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. See you next time. This is TBNN.